All right, y'all boys, we're back with another Soul Leveling Arise video, and today we're going to be covering uh, the final stage, or I guess the final Encore mission that you unlock in Soul Leveling, which is going to be Arachnid. So basically, this is where you, uh, one of the Encore missions you're going to need to complete, so that way you can get the more rare gear, like the Dragon Knight, maybe the Shield Set, if that's what you want, the Ultimate Skill Set etc just to get the headpieces and the chest piece so obviously this is the other variant uh along with you know service that gives you the other two pieces so naturally you're going to want to be able to run all of these of course the first two being the snake and the mage but then later on you're going to be wanting to know how to do this uh service and then arachnid so today i'm going to show you how i guess it's not really how you do tier eight but how you fight against this boss, how you counter this boss, how you can, you know, get your way around this boss so that way it, you have an easier time and it's more of a guideline so that way it doesn't matter what tier you're at, whether you're at tier 3 or you're at tier 8, you know, this can help you understand the boss and what kind of things you might want to do so that way it can make it easier for you to actually complete the mission. I'll even go, uh, go over like some characters and what kind of format of a team you want to have to be able to complete a mission like this. So first up, when you're starting off building your team, of course, you're going to be using whatever you're going to focus on as your main DPS character. You know, if you're going to have like an attack character, just use Idris or uh, I believe his name is Blade as a shadow. But if you're using a defense character as your DPS, like I am, which is going to be Huang, then naturally I'm going to be using tank because tank is going to give me more defense percent, right? Okay, so now when it comes to building a team, obviously you have three options in build for your characters when you're building the team for a rack name. So here's what I recommend when you're building this team. Personally, you want to have one buffer or debuffer, one break character, and then your main DPS character. I'll go over why, but there's also a little bit of other ways that you can run uh, the team because it might be dependent on what you have. So let's say if I think up of an example. First character, we'll start with number one. Number one will be either Min, Choi, or Libora. Uh, the reasoning is you just want to increase damage taken or you want to inflict defense down. Right. Now let's say you do your second character. Your second character is going to be a breaker because naturally you want to break the spider. If you do not break the spider, uh, you have a very low chance of actually beating the boss unless you literally output like an immense amount of raw damage, right? And so in my case, I'm using uh, Bake here. Of course, you can use uh, Sail. You could use Emma. Those work too. Probably not Lim because the boss, I believe, is resistant to Dark. So it's kind of it's kind of like you're working backwards you're still getting the break but you, you're better off obviously running bake here he's going to be best case scenario for this stage because of course that's the recommended attribute like mm. so like you would either put libora sail and then like your main dps whether it be emma or huang or even choi right choi also inflicts defense down I'll give you another rundown of a different type of team. So, so this is, uh, of course, you'll have your damage taken increase, which is going to be from Libora, and then you're going to have your breaker, is going to be Sail, and then you'll have your DPS, which is going to be Choi. But Choi also inflicts defense down, so that's kind of an all-around bonus, right? Now, of course, you don't have to run Choi as your main DPS. There's other ways to run it around too. So, for example, <laughs> you can use, whoops, so right here, you have Choi as your your buffer or debuffer correct right let's say you have uh emma as your breaker and then your main dps is Wong. that is completely fine you just need to make sure in your team that you have a breaker someone who buffs or debuffs the boss and then your main dps of course you can run characters that fill, fulfill multiple roles like choi or you know even emma because she does dps and she also breaks right so those are just a couple options, but that's how I kind of feel like the format of your team should be when you're confronting this boss, just because a break is so necessary and you want to output as much damage as possible before the boss. Because like the quicker you get the boss down to, I believe, 43 HP bars, 
then they'll go up into the ceiling and then they'll regen health and all that so you want to you want to do quick bursts big quick strings of bursts so that's how i see it you want to have these damage taken buffs you want to have anything that will have you, give you that good burst so that we can get them up there as quick as possible get them down and burst them again because the boss will be healing hmm. all right so now that i talked about what kind of your format that would be you kind of just have to take it into account what kind of characters you have as long as you follow the rule of having a buffer a debuffer a breaker and your main dps you should be fine so in my case i'm gonna run min because obviously we min is gonna be best here for having in applying the the damage taken and then my second character of course is going to be um Bape because he go. is literally the best breaker for this stage overall he might even be the best damage dealer as well because he is light so he kind of has an advantage but i'm not using him in the I'm using him basically as a breaker on this team so that way if you do not have him as if you do not have him it wouldn't really matter too much as long as you have a breaker right and then i'm going to use huang as my dps of course there's much better dps's and of course my huang is actually stacked but like i said this whole video is basically just a guideline on how to fight the boss it's not necessarily whether you can beat tier 8 or not. If you can, because you have the resources or you have the strength to do it, then do so. But this is just to show you how to do it, all right? And, you know, what options there are to doing it. So, of course, this is going to be my team. And then I'm going to have Tank as my uh, main shadow. So we're just going to go straight into it and use all four. So do keep in mind, you, you do have to be uh, on the lookout for his webs, the ones that he shoots out in multiple directions. You'll know when he lifts his body slightly and, and, and just he falls straight down. Those are the ones you have to dodge and you have to dodge both because you're likely to get hit by a second string of it because he uses it two at once. Whoops. Uh, let me retry that real quick. I don't know what happened there game bugged out a little bit or something Sorry about that. i got got a phone call so i had to redo it again because it was kind of <laughs> important all right but now we're gonna actually get into it so like i said in the beginning you want to just apply that you see how he did the fire webs he shoots two strings of it so you do want to dodge it because if not you will get binded it's all about timing so do it a couple times so that way you can get used to it I got hit a couple times, so not my best uh, appearance right now, but... And he did it once again, so I'm going to have to retry again because... It's it's very random when he shoots the webs, but the webs are the most annoying part of his actual... Of this actual boss overall, like, he, it's not even like the boss is super difficult. It's just the webs that, like, once the webs hit you, you basically kind of just die, right? Right? So then just do that. We're going to try to get into our breaker as soon as possible. Of course, using Bake has good advantages because he breaks very fast. Dodge that. And break him. Right? He already has the defense down and the damage taken. And then we just go crazy with our DPS. As quick as possible, we try to damage deal him as much as possible. You want to get him down to, I believe, 45, 46, something like that. I'll take him up. And then what I normally do is I go into my breaker here because you want to switch into your min. You don't have to do this if you're using Libora, but when you go into your min, he has to have disguise on. And switching into him puts, puts disguise, which gives him the higher modifier for his damage taken buff. See, as you can see, as those spiders were coming out, I was running to them. If you run to them, you proc their super armor, which makes them explode. And you want to just kind of just run to every single white spider you see. That way you can get them to explode so they don't, you know, kind of annoy you at this stage. And you shoot again. And I got hit, unfortunately. Okay, you got to be on the lookout for things like that. Right. 
But yeah, so it will take a little bit of trial and error, but like a lot of the runs, they're kind of random. You, sometimes you'll get hit by the spider, uh, spider webs. Sometimes you, it'll be really unfortunate. Right? I think this was almost my best run yet. If I, if I wasn't like kind of like uh, lagging a little bit and stuttering, I think that I would have got him in, within time, maybe. But yeah, but I'll show you once again basically how you handle this uh, when he goes up. You just kind of run to the spiders, and you when you see the super armor, that means they're about to explode. That's when they turn blue, right? And then you just go back to the character. You inflict uh, your damage taken, whoever it may be. Run to your breaker once again. Of course, if you're not using bait, you might not be able to break it as quickly as I am, right? Fortunately, I wasn't able to break, which is actually really bad. What? Overall, that's basically how you would do it, right? It's nothing too crazy. It's 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 very simple boss. You just have to take it into three different phases, basically. And you just consider each phase every time he goes up into the ceiling, that's a phase, right? Like, he'll do it, he'll, he'll heal two times. He'll heal at 40, and then the next one he'll heal between 15 and 20 HP bars left, right? So you, you basically kind of have to just burst the uh, the boss as quickly as possible, so that way you could get him into the ceiling, so you can burst them once again. Th this is basically all you're going to be doing between each time that if uh, the phases every time it goes up in the ceiling and then comes down. You're just going to burst as quickly as possible, inflict all your debuffs and everything that you have in buffs, and then go do as much damage as you can with your DPS as soon as possible. And like I said before, that's all you're going to be really looking out for is those spider webs that he shoots when he lifts his body and then he drops it down. And it, it happens two times, so you have to dodge twice. That or have a character with shield, of course. They'll, they'll absorb the damage and they probably won't even get uh, bonded. But in my case, I was using uh, Huang and he has uh he has like a it's kind of like kind of a full shield but not really a full shield it's it's kind of it's for himself only so if i were to switch characters i would still get hit so but, but you get the point basically you just have to dodge those spider webs and do, burst him down every time each phase so have all your skills just ready to burst them down each time and just do as much damage as, as possible break the boss when you can in in between those phases that's all you're really going to do and that's basically how you do Arachnid 8. It's, it's not even Arachnid 8, just Arachnid overall. Of course, when you're doing tier 1 through 4, I believe doesn't have all the same attacks as the one that you fight in tier 5 through 8. I believe once you do tier 5 through 8 on Encore missions, all of them have like uh, extra attacks and things like that. So like the Snake Boss has Enrage, etc. Uh, the Mage, uh, I, f I forget what the Mage does. Things like that. Right, and then uh, Cerebus, I believe he has like a one shot, or not one shot, but it's it's basically you get shot by the fire beams and then they could basically kill you. Things like that. But anyways, overall, this is just basically a guideline or kind of like the foundation so that way you can understand the boss and know how the boss attacks and how I respond to it. And you, of course, you can be creative and decide how you want to respond to it depending on what kind of team you use. But, of course, I already told you what kind of characters are kind of, you know, helpful in this and which ones you might need to actually get higher on the tiers. Or if you're already on the highest tier, which is 8, and you're trying to beat it, then you, maybe this can help you beat it. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? But other than that, I appreciate you guys for watching.